there, it's Natalie from Mary Gold's Loft. Today I want to show you how to create this box. For this box we're going to need to use our um, crafter's companion. Uh, for this you need to have two pieces of card that are equal in size. Uh, for this card I have measured the dimensions are 21 centimeters by 24 centimeters. And I'm going to show you now, we're, we're going to start with the base. You take your crafter's companion and you open it up. You'll see here um, on your box, on your box page, it says box base and box lid. So because we're going to be using the box base, we're going to be working on this side. Turn your sheet over and push it against the, the top base. Again, like I said, we're going to be doing the box base. I'm going to be doing it on the third um, crease. So one, two, three. Put your thing in and go across. Make sure that it did come out. Turn your box and turn your lid. Oh, sorry, turn your piece of paper. And again, go over. And again. Just using using your um, uh, pen, your folder, and just fold this over. It gives you a nice creased area. Now you can just take some scissors. bigger scissors, I think it will be easier to show you. Cut in the one corner up to the edge and then come in at an angle, turn it around Taking some liquid glue, add a dab on each of the corners. And push them in. At this point, use some paper clips to hold them in place until they're dry. Okay, now we've finished the box base, so now we're going to go over to the lid. Um, I'm going to put this face down on the section where it says box lid, and we're going to do the exact same procedure we did on the box base. So on the box base we did the third line, uh, one, two, three, so we're going to do the same on the lid. So taking your stylus, go across. And again. On this lid I'm going to do an aperture, so that is a cutout in the middle of the lid and I want it to have a really nice um, um, border. So I'm going to use the, the same lining that I'm using at the moment, I'm going to do the next one up which is the fourth, well the third groove, the fourth block up and I'm going to go slightly from this line through to the next. Turn it. And we do the same pr principle again throughout. And now for the aperture itself, I'm going to go up one more line.
if you turn it over, you can see how wonderfully that looks. How wonderful. Um, so I've cut along with my um, art knife. I've just cut out the middle of the aperture and I've removed it. I'm going to remove this. And now we're going to make the box in the same way that we made the, the, the base. So again. Once you've gone over all the folds, you can take your scissors again. Again. Cut along. Okay. Before I put the box together, I am going to put in the aperture. The aperture I've chosen, um, this one I've measured out, it's going to fit perfectly over the center here. And this one I've measured out to be 11 by 14 centimeters. Okay, so as you can see, I've just lifted up the um, uh, double sided tape. I've stuck double sided tape along the opening of the aperture on the inside of the card. So I just pull that off. Place my aperture where I want to have it and stick it down. So now I'll continue to make the box in the way that I did before with the liquid glue. So we use a tacky glue. So we add a little bit of glue on each corner, fold it in, line it up, and then just use a paper clip to hold it in place. So there's the lid. I'll come back when it's dry and I'll show you my finishing touches. Okay, so I've just uh, got a sh pretty shiny sticker. I'm going to just place that here. There we have the lid. This is still drying, but you can see that the boxes fit perfectly together. Once it's dry, it will be a perfect fit. Take it apart. And there you have it. Next week I will show you how to create some wonderful cards. Thanks for visiting. See you again soon. Bye bye.